wrist is in such a way that you have that floppy arm. Because right now you don't have it. Oh. You see how you're moving the jaws and they go horizontally instead of vertically? You gotta reconfigure the wrist orientation so the jaws flap vertically. Like that. Uh, still, that's perfectly horizontal now. Wow, okay. <laughs> Try it again. Do we want to know the final shrimp tally for today? Lay it on us. 52. Nice. Which I'm surprised that about. Because Here, why don't I show you so one more time really quick? Barren down there. I can do it from here. So right now you're coming over, well that's really, coming over here and then this is your final joint. It's going horizontally. But if you move this joint, eh, <laughs> it's really awkward. Sorry. No, that's okay. I can move it over to you. If you move this joint first, so it's vertical. Then now your last joint is the horizontal, or sorry, is the vertical flapping. Oh, flapping. okay. Follow me? Yeah, so there's two wrist joints, so you move the first one vertical and then the other one horizontal. Exactly, yeah. Okay. Right up in the camera there. Not it. <clears throat> What's going on with my where's Bradley? Oh, it's this joint, this one. Yeah, that's what you want. That looks like a good angle too. But of course, make sure you're flapped up before approaching the push core, because otherwise the flap upping could hook it and put, pull it out. But that look, what you got now is good. Chat, I don't know if that shrimp count counted the ones from the aborted launch. And like this. So. Yeah, there I don't you go. Think it did. And of course, take the time to re-index yourself as you need. Whatever your, however your brain works with the actual controllers, oh. is the best way to go. We're at one thousand one hundred forty-seven meter depth. Oh, this is a little awkward. Yeah. Oh, I think I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't They're, seem right. It looks good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, wait. Like that? Almost. Not quite that. Nope. That's the second last joint in. You want to use one more back. You want to use... This one. That one. There you are. Exactly. So it's going to be a different movement on the controller than it is going to be there. That one's going to be moving vertically and your arm's moving horizontally. Like so that. Yeah. And we can also make that bigger. We do have the sample salvo if you want. So that would be nice. You. Thank you. Let's go for it. Oh, that's really helpful. Yeah, it makes it a lot bigger. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice. Nice. Nope. See, blue water transits aren't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of glad cool. that I that I asked you to teach me the arm because now it's it's gonna be arm puzzles the whole way, all <laughs> the time. I'm gonna have to get creative. I'm gonna put like a monkey's fist on the porch or something. <laughs> <coughs> this is like enrichment 
<laughs> All right. Puzzles! Yay! <laughs> and here we have the young ROV pilot enjoying its enrichment puzzles. <laughs> In its natural habitat. In its natural <laughs> habitat. What a marvelous sight. <laughs> oh, so rotate. So I've been putting this uh, all out on Satellite Feed 3, so you should be able to go back and look at the archive streams and watch this later on. Oh, cool. Watch myself do puzzles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, if you really want a hard puzzle, all right. do everything you just did, but the holding the minute the other way. Oh, <laughs> I need to start from the very beginning for that. Yeah, absolutely. All right, yeah, okay. I'm gonna move this thing back around. Sure, yeah. Let me know when you're ready for dive, Salvo. Not yet. Bring it back down. Actually, there's one more puzzle for you with this orientation, which is going to be important, is bring it back out front once you get it back out front. In the front? Yeah. This way? Yep, just any which way until you get it in the main Zeus camera. A little nervous so when you can't see it. There we go. Now, I'm going to show you once, then you can do it. Is that all right? Yeah, that's great. <coughs> Chat says best blue water yet. <laughs> all right, so the challenge is you're going to have, this is where I'm going to really prefer the rocker. So you have the arm almost like it's stowed, but just the wrist out. Mm -hmm. Now, what uh, the, the, the scenario is that you have, for instance, taken a push core, uh, squeeze it into the ground, okay, and you're back over here, and you want to keep the wrist vertical. So in this case, uh, whatever, the blades, so it's better like blades a, are on top. So it's like a shoulder-only rotate? Yeah, and you're going to go around all the way, but, oh, no, there's a rock there. Well, you better get the wrist out of the way, tuck it in as much as possible. Oftentimes we're sampling right up against some rock feature, right? So I'm tucked in as much as possible. I'm gonna go all the way around. Go all the way around. And then bring it out to the side. See the blades are still on top. Okay. So that means I haven't flipped the push core over, dumping it all out. Then eventually I'm going to put it in. Oh, but I don't have my flappy set up right. Right? Now mm -hmm. I'm in this flappy instead of the other flappy. Which means I gotta reconfigure the wrist. Which means I've got to wrist roll and wrist pitch at the same time. Oh. Here's hard mode. And now you've rolled the wrist, so now it's vertically flappy. You can, oh, that's a little too close to Argus probably. Oh, no, we're okay. Uh, I should pull ahead. Give me a sec here. Um, then you can lift up as though you're placing the push core in the back there and then go in. Meanwhile, the whole time the blades have been upright. Okay. So you're tucked in a nice and out of the way of the rock face. Pretending like you're putting the push core in. You got eventually got to do a bit of wrist rotate, but not until later. All right. So let's say, okay, you're out there. You've just taken a push core. Okay. So keep the blades <coughs> up the whole time. Yeah, and tuck it in nice and out of the way. It's pretty much as far away from the cliff, cliff face. Oh, the big cliff. The big cliff. Mm -hmm as you can. Come on, there we go. Reach. <coughs> And this is where I want bubble on craft when I do it. It's because I want to see, it's hard to see in the Zeus view how vertical that shoulder is, but here you can tell quite clearly that it's not all the way up. So it's really hard to do with just the Zeus. <coughs> nice, nice and tucked in, good. And this is kind of dealer's choice whether you tuck it into the left or the right, either one is fine. 
same geometry for dodging the cliff. Do you guys have a blind spot at all? Yeah. <laughs> Oops, I'm off SPL. Why am I off SPL? Oh, no. There we go. I feel like I did not keep my core upright. Not oh, quite. I did not. Oops, sorry. It's okay. Can you recover? There. So you know what happened there is the wrist pitch fell down. I think I might switch it to the other wrist mode. I'm going to go back and try it again. Great, yeah. And again, in an ideal world, you could do it any which way with any configuration, but I don't know that I could do that. Where the heck am I? <laughs> Into the cliff. There we go. Cliff core sample. That's the answer to your blind spot question. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, there we go. Okay. And those are jaws on top, like so. Yeah, I picked randomly jaws or blades on top just as a reference, but. Okay. So looking on track to be on the surface. At just the right time. And so actually, here's a, here's a, if you stop there for just a sec, remember how I was talking about on the starboard side, you gotta spin the wrist around? Mm -hmm. So if you put the wrist pitch vertically right now, the problem with that is usually the push core will drag along the ground. It's just the wrong size for that. So if this joint went all the way down, ooh, that's too close. Merp. Give me a sec. Getting all out of sorts here. Oh, there goes Atalanta, yeah. Do you need, do you need anything? I got it. Just gotta pay attention to what I'm doing, that's what I gotta do. Um, yeah, if that wrist pitch is vertically all the way down, then why is this all the way up? I don't want that. Uh, then it'll drag the push core, so you don't wanna do that. That's why you gotta do the switcheroo on the other side. And this is a lot easier to see when you actually have a push core because you have this big thing sticking out telling you your wrist position. <coughs> Alternatively too, you could practice this maneuver out front where you can actually see the wrist and everything.
No, that was the other way. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna do the wrist part. Yeah, here. totally. Can't tell which way's up. This way? Oh, I'm well turned around. <laughs> it's very easy to have that happen. <coughs> okay, we're going to go like this and then sort it out from there. So this needs to be happening this way. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that disorienting <laughs> or what? Sorry. <laughs> I just saw, it. I think, Logan polishing the... <laughs> The camera. I had a Bobby Argus moment <laughs> just now. <laughs> That's very funny. <laughs> the camera needed a polishing. I was like, what? Where are we? <laughs> By the way, we are at like 90 meters. 900. Wait, that's altitude. 900, 900 meters. 900 okay. meters. Time flies. Time flies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this, this is our job position. You can do it in reverse too, because part of this job is, part of this task is pulling the push core out and bring it up to the front. So obviously you're not gonna pull it out, but you could get on top of it, air grab, pull it out, keep the wrist level. Oh, wait, I think I figured something out. Cool, nice. I'm figuring it out, I'm learning. Perfect. entirely the wrong way because when this goes it needs to go up and down somehow yeah I think I am gonna try it up front cool yeah and of course up front to be able to see it it's gonna be reverse it's gonna be on the left instead of the right but that's the same kind of thing let me know when you're ready for dive salvo Ready? Yep, ready. There's Atalanta's lens is not suspiciously clean. Panos is gonna clean bubble cam next, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So then if I go down that way, it's this. Like yeah. that. I probably don't have to tell you, but do keep an eye on that cinema cam. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you p tilt Zeus up, maybe we could practice away from it. Yeah, great idea. Keep it in view so we have reference, but uh, then we don't have to be centered on it.
That was the right idea. You got the right idea. Like that. Is that it? No. Well, that's that's one of the ways, and then you got to rotate it around the other way. Yeah, exactly. That's the right idea. You end up not being able to do it in one movement. You have to do it in two. You end up bringing the wrist over and then do the double roll. It's like two phases. So it's this joint. How do... Oh, okay, it goes down and then up. Yeah, but if it goes down, then your push course sideways. Like that. That was pretty close, yeah. That was what, uh, that last thing you just did there was what I wanted to see. Like this, and then untangle myself. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I think I understand more. And then this is the other way. Well, there's still this, again, two parts to it. Um, can I show you what I'm talking about? I'm trying to figure out sure. words for it. Yeah, I'll show you once, then you can try it again. What do we got here? Force feedback mode. All right, we don't want that. So. You're going to go from, oh, this is actually quite easy when you have it in non-continuous wrist because it just does it automatically. That's kind of cool. Anyway, um, I'm going to do it in this wrist, but anyway. So right now, if you were to, that's not, no vertical action there, but if you did vertical, you would roll it. roll it. So you will roll the, this one down at the same speed you roll the wrist and then now you have flappy to do okay. that pressy which of course you don't you're not going to be doing this when you put the push core in but the other part of this is okay I want to bring it from here and I want to bring it over here without flipping the jaw over so that means you've that's got a, to that's a two stepper right yeah so first step is oops not if you do it wrong um, so first step the pretend it's level, you're going to do this out front. Then you're going to bring it around, whoop, bring it around the other side. Where you can't see it, perfect. And then you're going to, I can't see. <laughs> Roll it down, keeping it level. That's the that's the motion that's going to happen on the other side. Okay. Anyway, I'll just leave it wherever you can figure it out. Alrighty.
There you go. You got gauges now. Ooh. Thank you. If you want, you can put that back to bubble or whatever you need. Roger. Like that? Yeah, and then see if you can get into a place where you got the vertical flappy. Like that, perfect. Just like that. Do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and now you're ready like to that. place that into the... Okay. That's That move is definitely the way to go with, a, uh, with the slave wrist there that you have it in. That makes it way easier. Nice. And then the flappy like this. Yeah, because then you can... Because it's a sideways motion for an up and down flappy. <laughs> mm -hmm. In okay. theory, you could orient the controller in a way that... I don't know how that would happen. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not comfortable as how. Nice job. So now do that while the sand is draining out of the bottom of the push cord oh like a literal gosh. hourglass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I'm not either. <laughs> I hate push cores. It's I? nice when you have good sticky mud because you can hold it there for five minutes. It won't drain out. But the stuff we've been seeing lately is uh, not conducive to slow push cores. Or any push cores, honestly, because they're like an inch deep and they fall out immediately. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> Get out of here. There also is a bit of a limit to how long you can think about this before your brain just stops working on it. It's, it's also nearly midnight. Totally, yeah. <laughs> so in other, other operations, and actually last cruise too, um, normally ROV ops is 12 hours on, 12 hours off. And you have three oh. people that cycle through. So you can take a break after 20 minutes or four hours, depending on whenever you, your head burns out. But it's funny, you'll like have one person in the seat, they're doing great with the arm, and then all of a sudden they just can't do what they want to do. It's like, I need to get out, I need out. Someone else comes in and it's easy. And then two hours, four hours later, that person can't do anything. So the first person goes back in and they can do it all. It's just, as long as so much of this your brain can take before it just stops, just shuts down. You're like, no, nah, I can't, I can't handle it. It's like playing an instrument. Yeah. There's very few people that can practice an instrument for 12 hours straight. Like, some people can. But some, you know, if you practice regularly, small amounts of time is a lot more beneficial to the average person than 12 hours than not, than 12 hours than not for a while. This is making for some great blue water, though, so I appreciate this. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite, eh? Hello. 
That's the right idea, yeah. Right, it looks like that. Oh, that is it. That is it, yeah. You're keeping the jaw, the blades on top while you rotate that wrist joint. And that, what that does is when you have the wrist joint up out in front, you're able to swing the jaws over to the side without rolling them. But maybe with continuous wrist, that's hard. Or with uh, slave wrist, I should say. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I think you will. Please mute your mic before you move your microphone all around, whoever that is. Somebody? I'm not sure who it is. squid and uh, butt cam. Oh, yeah. Big flappy flappy. I'm going to turn off my horizontal thrusters just in oh, time. Oh, no, it's on the side. No, No, he fell down. It's good. I oh. turned those thrusters up just oh. in time. Hello? Sure. We still have 600 meters, but whenever you want. I think I got it. All right, go for it. Very clumsily. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna, ah, yeah, there we go. Okay, this is the starting position. Okay, right on. the wrong way. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> this way. That's yeah, the way. Yeah, nice. There you go. Beauty. Like that. Cool. Yeah. That's it? Compound movements, there you go. Getting awesome. Getting it figured out. All right. Cool, great work. You're really catching on this fast. Thanks. And then if I were to bring it around to the side. Sure, go for it. Do you mind doing a sample salvo? Why don't I give you bubble on craft first? Oh, that's helpful. Yeah. Wow, I can't see anything. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Well, I know it's going to be like upside down by the time I have all this back. <laughs> totally. So the, the trick is to get it 
as back as you can in the main Zeus, bring it over to the side without moving any of the small joints you're blinded on, and then do all the other movements when you're back in the sample salvo. Oh, not too bad, actually. Yeah, it looks good. Whoop, this way. So I have some questions, Trevor. Sure. The bobulon craft, what does that do? Bonk. Or what do you, uh, is that correct? Is that how you say it's bobulon craft? So this is the name of our bubble camera. And when I say bubble, and the arm is called craft. So when I say bubble on craft, I mean move the bubble cam oh. so it's looking at the craft. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's There's crap. a lot in there, like, you know. On bubble on craft, what do those <laughs> words mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so bubble Got cam it. is a pan tilt zoom camera on the front of the vehicle. We use it to look straight down at the front porch. Mm -hmm. We also look at our pressure gauges. Uh, are the fullness of the compensa oil compensator for the craft arm as well as the arm itself. So it I gives see. us another perspective. I put the core back. Did you pull it out? Oh, sorry, I see. Yeah, yeah, cool, nice. Yeah, I saw you bonking it. That was good. All right, I'm going to go back and try it again. Okay, cool. Let's do one more test, and then we'll start thinking about recovery. We still have a lot of time, but I just want to get our head in the game here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we're 500 meters. Yeah. Oof. That's, <laughs> That's fine. A bit of a bonk there. There you go. It's a bit better. So what does this compass do? The red compass mm -hmm. is Hercules heading. Same on that screen. The small white one is Atalanta heading. And the yellow ball is, if I am an auto heading, that's my set point. When I'm not an auto heading, when I'm not an auto heading, oh, anyway. Copy you loud and clear deck. You're welcome. Yeah, so yellow is my set point. So if I'm not in auto heading, those are tied together, right? But if I'm in auto heading and my set point is, for example, over wherever, over there, then the red line will try to hunt and find that yellow uh, uh, yellow set point. Nice, and the, the other one to the left? This, yes. that is my commanded thruster input, output, whatever. So. Let's look at the horizontals. That's the forward backward ones. If I go forward, 100% thruster forward. If I go backward, you know, or turn to port, turn to starboard. Oh, nice. These are my laterals to go side to side and the verticals up and down. Good. <coughs> yeah, I've just been looking at that. I'm like, okay, what's Trying going Trying to figure on? it all out. Yeah. yeah, totally. So you've seen this one, Doppler. That's zero yeah, beams. Yeah, you know about that one. And here's all the heading depth altitude as well as wraps information. It's all the basic knowledge you want to see at all times. I'm also watching these a lot. Pressures, we have to manage our pressure uh, due to the hydraulic demand to the vehicle. That's not really a concern for nav stuff, but so you know what's going on. I can also watch a bunch of alarms, make sure if something goes wrong, then Boop. I'm alerted to it. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Then the other one that you normally see is something salvo, like what's that? Something salvo? Yeah. Yeah, that is, these buttons down here, it changes video stuff. So the term salvo in video land means change a bunch of monitor displays all at once. We can change one at a time through this panel here, mm -hmm. or these purple buttons are uh, to change a bunch of different things all at the same time. Okay, nice. I'm gonna put it away now. Sounds good. Yeah, let me see again. What question do I have for you? <laughs> oh. Can we get bubble on gauges when you're done, please? Roger. I turned the, the power Perfect. off. Perfect. Wonderful. Nice job today. 
Thank you. I'm really happy that you can teach me these. Yeah. Thank you for teaching me. Of course. Somebody got a water bottle? Never see oh. that again. Let's see what uh, the ADCP is doing. Do we want to do an actual gauge check now? Sure, why not? Pork gain, no. 23, I'm going to secure a down light. Porch looks good. Ooh. <laughs> good luck. I am just guessing. Yeah, that's fine. That's all I ever do. There was a moment at the beginning of the cruise that it wasn't like that. Yeah, it's funny. No luck? No luck. All right. Yeah, let's try again. Oh, okay. Nope. <laughs> I didn't believe that number anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what if you close uh, the software and start again? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. If you're done with that, can I have it on bubble on gauges, please? Roger. Just so everyone knows, the back row is still awake. We were just like enthralled with watching Annabelle learn. But we're still here. Hi, back row. Hi, front row. No. Okay, that's fine. Once again, I looked for temperature and redheading. <laughs> we are tired. Reading depth, 400 degrees. What? What? <laughs> well, it says degrees on the heading, so it's. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, right. 79, 80 degrees. That doesn't look right. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. So once once we are recovering, we want to make sure the, uh, the two headings are aligned, right? Yeah. We do that s before we leave bottom. Keep the tether stretched out between them. Oh, nice. And it's my job to keep Hercules this way ish which means Atalanta's heading is the same as the ship and yeah. Arx is 180 oh, out yeah. approximately. Hey, uh, Atalanta's DC ground fault's a little bit lower. Cool. Good it's catch. not it's not in the orange or it, or red but it's just a little bit lower. Cool. Interesting. Yeah, that's uh anything higher than like 10 meg is like academic. They're not yeah. actually 47. That just means it can't measure it. Okay. 37 means maybe it's starting to get a measurement, but it doesn't know what it is. Okay. But good catch. Thank you for telling me that something has changed. Otherwise, Atalanta and Herc look great. Cool. If anything, Herc's like maintaining its oil pretty well. Uh, when we come up uh, to surface, it, it will, expands. The air expands yeah. again. Yeah. So, and it's hot. Oh yeah. Which All is that, why uh, I want this. Pump. Yeah, which is why I want this on this. So it why I want camera on gauges on surface. <laughs> why I want this on this? Oh, that's not. That's not effective communication. We're doing great. 
<laughs> so what do you have on Hotel Day? Why, why Hotel? <laughs> yeah, Annabelle, why is it called Hotel? Gauge check. Oh. Uh, oh all, the, uh, all the little circuit boards, they actually rent out rooms in there. Um. <laughs> For the gerbils that power the thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> it's, it's Herc powered by a bunch of gerbils running around. Yeah. Yeah, they have room service. Actually, it's where the shrimp come from. Oh, the, oh, it's oh, the, shrimp, yeah, the shrimp hotel. Shrimp hotel. Yeah. yeah. Like the shrimp running on the <laughs> treadmill. <laughs> That's what happens to all the tinafores. <laughs> they go and live in the hotel. As to uh, why it says hotel. Tell me, Trevor, why does it say hotel? Mm -hmm. Because. I've always wondered. The telemetry system, uh, all the power in the main bottle in Hercules is called Hotel. So that's why this is labeled Hotel, is because it's talking about the telemetry bottle. Oh. And don't ask me why it's called Hotel, <laughs> why the main bottle is called Hotel, because I don't know that. <laughs> but I can tell you why that label says Hotel. <laughs> I see. I think that was the first question I asked you on the Zoom meeting before yeah, my was. internship. Like, oh, coming in guns a-blazing, eh? Like, <laughs> how am I going to answer that? Well, I read, I was like, up really late the night before reading all the documents. <laughs> um, I was like, I cannot make heads or tails of this whole hotel thing. Yeah, it's meaningless. Utterly meaningless. All those sleepless moments, Annabelle, for something meaningless. I know. Uh, yeah, is it a good idea to start tracking forward now? Sure, that sounds great. Is that a TI-84? Yeah, on your phone? Before no, no, definitely that. not. Absolutely not. Bridge control. Yeah. Bridge nav. Can we please switch to the radio for comms? Bridge control. Yes, can we please secure tanks and after deck fan enable air to tug us? Um, <laughs> the captain is probably not on the bridge yet. But that is know. the captain. Oh, is this a, am I talking to the captain? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, captain. Eh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I think Sorry. I know. I know the captain's voice now. <laughs> Yes, please, once you secure all those, please let me know. Thank you. What kind of squid do you think that was? I missed it. It was huge. No! Sorry, we, we won't talk about the squid. Yeah, never bring it up again. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the squid, Rob? Bridge control. Well, what happened to the deck frog? Set up for recovery. Bridge control. Oh. Can you also confirm this is a good um, recovery configuration? Like our heading is good? Roger, thank you so much. So we are just waiting on the cap. And you're going to start tracking a line at 300 meters, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we have what this. <coughs> Bridge control. Oh, I just looked at the USBL dots. <laughs> Can we please start tracking the line forward? 0 0.3 knots. Roger, thank you. 
How does our um, oxygen data hold up to when we descended? Oxygen to minimum stuff. Ascending, it was 25 micromoles per liter at around 550 meter depth. And that's for ascent and for descent, I don't know. That was too long ago. <laughs> Wow, this would have been a really long dive. Yeah. If we'd wow. gone the whole way, yeah. Is there a waypoint six? Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh my goodness. Do you see, Noah? Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. We're gonna stop this. Sonars are stopped. Oh, yeah, thank you. Can you do me a favor, please? Mm -hmm. Could you please uh, just turn off the tilt? Uh, it's it's tilted it down. Do you down, want me to? Yeah. Just leave it there for now and turn it off. Okay. Tilts off. I want to see if we can figure out what this number is. It's lower than the, when you pointed it out. It's still oh. not low enough to be concerning, but maybe we can figure it out. Okay. Just as a fun activity. Uh, do you want me to like secure some lights or something? So lights are AC, so they're oh, not okay. going to be a problem. The thrusters are also AC. Uh, the DC things are cameras and sensors, as well as the tilt. So some of the ones we can turn off, some of the ones we cannot. Tilt, easy. Turn it off, turn it on all the time. And also very suspicious. Uh, you can turn off the sonar. <coughs> Roger. And it'll fluctuate a lot. Ooh, Ooh cool. Turn, this, turn the tilt on. Sorry. What is this that we are seeing here? What that is? is the power supply for Hercules and in in Atlanta. And that is a camera that's in just outside of the wet lab downstairs. Oh. That's the high voltage supply cabinets. So that's where, when we were on the checklist to like, make sure it's secure, you're going to see us run down and turn it off. Oh. See, specifically Annabelle do that. Nice. Thank you. I hate to admit that I'm still in shock from watching Logan wipe down the deck cam. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. I was shaking in my boots. <laughs> it was Panos, actually. Oh, OK. <laughs> well, thank right. you for the heart attack. <laughs> Can you please turn the sonar back on? Roger. And this is just another gauge, right? Oh, this one. Yeah, so that one is down in the winch hold, winch room. So what is that showing? That's showing the hydraulic power unit, the HPU, for driving the winch. We see all the pressures there. Oh, I see. Nice. Cool, it's the sonar. All right. Do you want me to secure the sonar? No. I mean, you can. Okay. It's, it's off, but it, this will not hurt it. You could run it for 10 years and it wouldn't hurt it. Roger that. It is dropping though, it's kind of funny. Let's keep an eye on it, let's keep it on. Okay. For uh, some perspective, the Alvin submer submersible, uh, they have ground fault monitoring, of course. Oh. And if there's a bad ground fault, then they have to recover, right? Because it's human yeah. human occupied. Uh, anything above one meg DC ground fault, is, they don't even think about. Yeah. Not even slightly worried about it. If you see two meg uh, two meg ohm, dive all day, no problem. They won't turn the thing off. They won't uh, do anything. It, it's like, yeah, not an issue. So it is nice to note changes because you can see a problem before it happens. So, and again, the Alba situation, they might service the connector when it's on deck, but they're not going to abort a dive for it or do anything special. Roger that.
About how long have we been ascending for? Forever. Forever and ever. <laughs> Says we have around 15 minutes to surface. We'll be about 10. About 10? 10 minutes to surface, yeah. So Roger. I thought, with 10 that minutes I to might the handover, I should say. Oh, to the handover, yeah. With that, I might close out to the world. I mean, if chat wants to pipe up. Chat's been gone for 50 minutes and 42 seconds. Oh. Chat left us high and dry. Good night, yeah. chat. <laughs> so. Uh, this will be the end of our fifth and deepest dive of this expedition so far. We were at an isolated seamount in the western region of the Johnson Atoll. We dove down to 3,200 meters, like I said, the deepest yet, and we made our way up a ridge to about 2,500 meters uh, before we started our ascent up. The dive was about 16 hours long. Um, so thank you for joining. Thank you, chat. You were very nice and kind to us today. You said some great things. Um, and stay tuned on our website and social media pages for the next dive alert. Kindness is king. Kindness is king. Um, so goodbye, chat, if you're still awake. Oh, they said goodnight. They were still awake. Oh, goodnight, <laughs> chat. Fish. Oh, fishy. Cage fish. Cage fish. Cage fish. Do I need to write that on the... Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, there's a couple good nights in the chat. They weren't sleeping. How can you sleep at a time like this? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds very tempting, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine just get up like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I'm tired. I'm out of here. All right, what do we got going on here? So, 187, looking nicely behind the ship. Gauges are good. Ground faults are good. Bridge. Oh, thank you, Captain on the bridge. Thank you. All right, now once again, the challenge is, can you get to 50 meters at exactly 10 minutes to? What I if I just left the stick? <laughs> <laughs> um. I've been setting you up the whole time, just making sure it's been uh, bang on there, but... Now it comes up, comes down to you, to this very moment. You got this, Annabelle. Let's go. You can do this. Oh. <laughs> Look at these tiny little fish swimming all about. Best thing we've seen in two hours, other than Annabelle working the arm. Those little fishies. I think these How are cute. lantern fish. <gasps> Lantern oh. fish? Yeah. They're swimming in a panic. What did what? you say? 10 minutes to 50? 10 minutes to 50. So what I've been doing this whole time is figuring out our payout minus 50 and then oh. number of minutes left and getting the winch speed. which has been pretty the same as what Herc can do right now, which is great. Seventeen point two meters a minute. Roger that. Oh, the critters. If I turn 
If I turn my lights off, are they lanterning? <laughs> Is that a you thing? You try it. I don't think the Minizus will be uh, sensitive enough to see them, but Minizus go in dark. Mm. Nope. Nope. No. no. Just gets noisy. Yeah. Wow, there's a lot of them. Squid Is ink. Is that a little squid ink? Yeah. It's a tiny little squid, lots of ink. It's really scared. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh, bigger fish. Wow, look at all of this. Magical. Is this right after you close the stream? Well, I mean, they can still see and hear us. Oh, okay, wonderful. Yeah, I just closed out the chat because they weren't chatting too much anyway. It's like, it's like if they were missing all this, like... No, they could still see this and they can still hear us. Okay. No, oh, no. Hi, chat. <laughs> They can so still hear us. This is part of that diurnal migration. These fish come up to eat the zooplankton that come up at night. Chat. Go ahead, Dick. Oh, he's calling the bridge. <laughs> Control answered. Break, break. Not lost that? bridge. This is happy to summit. Dick is calling you. Uh, Siphonophora. Yeah. Oh. oh God. Oh my gosh, squiddly diddly. Oh. Oh no. No. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. I oh look, there goes a squid. Oh, there they are. Oh, they're <laughs> not happy. They got a squad of squids. No. It's mayhem up here. Very cool, huh? Yeah, it's pretty too. Yeah, we've not seen this much before. It's pretty. What's that in the water column like that? get attracted by the light because of the zooplankton. Oh, that was sweet. Squid. They're excited. <laughs> Roger, we're moving the stick. Ooh. Ooh. Amazing how many of them there are. Yeah. Is this what you were talking about, Rob? Who's excited for samples? Yay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I am excited for samples. Especially if we get some music going in the lab, get the energy up a little bit. Right, yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, it's 
smoothie. We are almost there. Demicord. I'll stop. Ready Dave, for control. Winch at five zero meters. But at five zero meters. Okay, uh, control, we have uh, we've taken over control here on deck. Hello, well, yeah. Oh, nice. Roger. Tilt coming up. Hello? There we go. Roger that. Video Hello? swap. Pause Tilt is going to do uh, recovery. Should I secure my sonar? Okay. Sonar secured. Oh, yeah. Uh, that sonar causing ground fault in... I'm going to say 23 o'clock down to 24. Did you say 24, I think it was? 20 mega ohms. All right, I wrote sonar cause ground fault in Atalanta 23.0 down to 20 mega ohms. 23 the time. The good is. <laughs>
Okay. Deck control. Uh, go ahead for deck. Is if egg is com is if egg is um, coming out from port side, do we need to move the ship or we just need to move a bit to the starboard? Uh, Herc is sitting good just now. Herc's fine. Oh yeah, thank you. Control. In control, this is the bridge. Can we please hold position? Copy that. Hold position. Thank you.
Okay, all stations, that's uh, Herc secure to the crane, even in. Control copies. And bridge copies. Okay, that's her coming past the transom. Control copies. And pitch copies. Okay, Herc's midships coming up under the crane. Control copies. Uh, bridge copies. Deck control, high voltage secured. That high voltage secured.